we are given f of x equals five cosecant x minus three cosine x, and we're asked to determine f prime of x and f prime of five pi divided by three. Let's begin by determining the derivative function. We have the needed derivative formulas shown here on the right. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of five cosecant x minus three cosine x with respect to x, which is equal to five times the derivative of cosecant x with respect to x, which is negative cosecant x cotangent x. We'll simplify this to the next step. And then minus three times the derivative of cosine x with respect to x, which is negative sine x. Simplifying, we have f prime of x equals negative five cosecant x cotangent x plus three sine x. Now that we have the derivative function, we can determine f prime of five pi divided by three. This derivative function value is equal to the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f of x at x equals five pi divided by three. So f prime of five pi divided by three is equal to negative five times cosecant five pi divided by three times cotangent five pi divided by three plus three times the sine of five pi divided by three. To determine these three trig function values, we can use a reference triangle or the unit circle. Let's first use a reference triangle by sketching five pi divided by three radians in standard position. Five pi divided by three radians is equal to 300 degrees. So starting along the positive x-axis, we rotate counterclockwise, five pi divided by three radians or 300 degrees, which is approximately here. So here is the terminal side to five pi divided by three radians. Notice the reference angle is pi divided by three radians, or 60 degrees, this angle here. Let's go and sketch the reference triangle. Notice how the reference triangle is a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, where we can label the short leg one, the hypotenuse two, and the longer leg square root three. But because we are in the fourth quadrant where y is negative, the square root three is negative. And now we can use this reference triangle to determine the cosecant function value, cotangent function value, as well as the sine function value. The cosecant of five pi divided by three radians is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side. Remember, cosecant theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta. The ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side is two divided by negative square root three, or just negative two divided by square root three which gives us f prime of five pi divided by three is equal to negative five times negative two divided by square root three. And then we have times cotangent five pi divided by three. The cotangent function value is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, which gives us one divided by negative square root three, or just negative one divided by square root three. And then we have plus three times sine of five pi divided by three. And the sine function value is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which gives us negative square root three divided by two. Real quickly, if we did want to use a unit circle instead, remember on the unit circle, cosecant theta is equal to one divided by y, cotangent theta is equal to x divided by y, and sine theta is equal to y. And notice how the terminal side of five pi divided by three radians intersects a unit circle here, where x equals one half, and y equals negative square root three divided by two. And you may want to pause the video just to check to see, you will get the same trig function values. So going back to our work, let's go ahead and find this exact derivative function value. We have f prime of five pi divided by three is equal to we can think of negative five as negative five over one. In the numerator, we have negative five times negative two times negative one, which is negative 10. 
In the denominator, we have square root 3 times square root 3, which is 3. And then we have plus 3 times negative square root 3 divided by 2, which gives us minus 3 square root 3 divided by 2. The exact derivative function value is negative 10 thirds minus 3 square root 3 divided by 2. And again, this is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f of x at x equals 5 pi divided by 3. And let's take a look at the graph of this. In blue, we have the graph of the given function. The point where x equals 5 pi divided by 3 is this red point here. The red line is a tangent line at that point, and the slope of this red tangent line is a derivative function value that we just found. I hope you found this helpful.